Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell, and today at Go Parallel, we're going to talk about uh, Intel's Math Kernel Library, or MKL. The Math Kernel Library is a combination library of several uh, different math libraries, including a few standards, as well as some of Intel's own uh, math functions. And it's all wrapped up into a library that supports vectorized and multi-core extensions. You can use it with C, C++, and Fortran. Here at Go Parallel, we haven't really done much with Fortran, and we're, this year we're going to be covering it quite a bit more because a lot of scientists and engineers prefer Fortran. And included in that, we're going to show how to use Math Kernel Library with Fortran. Uh, one of the libraries that Math Kernel supports is called the Basic Linear Algebra Subprograms, BLAS, BLAS. Uh, this is a standard library that actually has a pretty good Wikipedia page about it, and it supports linear algebra, and it dates back, uh, all the way back to 1979, but it's been improved over the years. One thing about BLAS is it has three levels of functionality. Uh, level one is vector-to-vector -vector operations, such as uh, dot products and whatnot, and uh, level two is vector matrix operations, and level three are matrix matrix operations. On the Wikipedia page, they have a little rundown about that uh, right around here. And at the bottom, they've got some links to some pretty good references, um, including the, the homepage on netlib.org, as well as an FAQ. The homepage uh, is where, where you can get all the reference material, but you don't need to download it since it's actually included in Intel. Uh, MKL, and also remember, Intel's MKL version is a parallel version of it, so it's not the exact same code. And also included in the Math Kernel Library is another one called, another linear algebra library called LAPAC, and that stands for linear, linear Algebra Package. And it goes into some more advanced linear algebra operations, such as uh, solving systems of equations and whatnot. And also at the bottom down here on the Wikipedia page, you've got the official website as well as a user's guide link. And here's the official web page. And this is also hosted on netlib.org. And here's the user's guide, uh, which gives a rundown of it. Now the MKL also supports several other libraries. If you click on the details page, uh, you can see uh, they first mentioned linear algebra. They also have libraries for fast Fourier transforms, or FFTs. Uh, the idea here is if you're dealing with, for example, uh, sound waves, uh, each, each wave can be broken up into its constituent parts of sine waves, and you use Fourier transforms for that. Uh, a fast Fourier transform is a way of doing it on the computer uh, using discrete mathematics and they've got a couple different implementations of that. And then they've got their own vector math library and a pretty big statistics package. Um, it, it gets into some areas of statistics that unless you're a statistician you might not even be familiar with, but if you are I encourage you to take a look at it, as well as data fitting. Data fitting of course comes into play in a lot of different areas of science. So in the weeks to come, we're going to be exploring some of these and how you can get the most out of the Intel Math Kernel Library.